potter and clay. The word that came from the Lord to Jeremiah, saying, Arise and go down to the potter's house. There you shall hear my words. Then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he was forming something of wet clay upon the stones. The vessel he formed in his hands failed. So he again made himself another vessel, as it pleased him to do. Again the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Surely as this potter am I not able to form you, O house of Israel? Behold, you are as the clay of the potter in my hands. Hello friends, it's another wonderful day in the Lord and today's video is on Jeremiah and the potter's wheel. It's an example that speaks of the fact that nothing truly is impossible for the hand of God. And I shared this example of the potter's wheel when I've ministered to several people. There was one occasion when I was in Singapore and I was talking to a woman who was dealing with a what seemed like an impossible situation with a business and i told her about this example that anything can happen when you consider that the lord is the potter and we are the clay then i told her let's take the bible open it up randomly and see what confirmation the lord gives you and sure enough after i had given her that example of the potter's wheel it opened up to Jeremiah 18. It was amazing because I didn't even expect this. I thought maybe there would be a confirmation in another scripture, but literally the word opened up to this very scene that the Lord shows Jeremiah. Let's begin now by examining these scriptures. I'm going to refer to both the NKJV and the Septuagint translation of Jeremiah 18. We see that the Lord tells Jeremiah to arise and head down to the potter's house and that he would hear his words there. Sounds to me like this is early in the morning where he's telling him to wake up. And we see that Jeremiah, of course, obeys and he travels down to the potter's house. And when he gets there, he begins observing the potter. The potter is working with wet clay. And he's molding this wet clay. And Jeremiah sees that the vessel that he's working with appears to be marred. It has deformities in it. In fact, the Septuagint translation says that this vessel simply failed. But what does the potter do? Does he throw it away? Does he get rid of it? No, he does not discard it. In fact, what he does instead is he reshapes it. He takes that same vessel that failed and splashes water on it, which is the process of pottery. If you look at the traditional pottery process, you're turning the wheel around you have a lump of wet clay on the spinning wheel and the potter with his hand is able to mold it and as long as he keeps splashing water on it it remains moldable and is able to be transformed into whatever he deems and jeremiah is watching this entire scene where the potter reshapes the vessel into one of perfection and that's when the lord speaks because this is the message he wanted to show jeremiah that nothing is impossible for him he can take the most wicked nation the most corrupt and crooked people and change them into something new the most shocking, dark, evil lives, the most tormented and traumatized past. And with his hand that is so formidable, he transforms it into something entirely new with not even a hint or semblance of the dark shadows of the past. 
Then the Lord begins to explain why he led Jeremiah to observe this potter. Jeremiah 18, 5 to 6. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, O house of Israel, can I not do with you as this potter? Says the Lord, Look, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are you in my hand, O house of Israel. Cannot I do with you as this potter? Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are you in mine hand, O house of Israel. This is the picture of what the Lord is able to do because he is the potter and we are the clay. Even entire nations are mere clay in his hands. By the Lord showing Jeremiah this visual during such a time in history, it must have been very encouraging for him to witness. The Lord was teaching his prophet that even in the most extreme, dark and vile situations, all can be changed. Let's look further into the way that the potter works in the natural. He uses a molding process and for this, the clay must be kept moist. Whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. John 4, 14. Living waters flow from the Lord Jesus. The word tells us that the word of God is water and that we must be washed by the water of his word. Let's look at more scriptures on the water of the word. Jesus says, already you are clean because of the word that I have spoken to you. John 15, 3. Whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. John 7, 38. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Isaiah 12, 3. That he might sanctify and cleanse her with the washing of water by the word that he might present her to himself a glorious church not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing but that she should be holy and without blemish and that's Ephesians 5 26 the Lord can take the most hideous broken vessel and simply by the addition of water cause it to mold into something new and beautiful that is a delight to all those around it. No one would even guess what it once was before. It becomes an entirely new creation. This vessel that was broken and appeared as something that could be thrown away, even discarded. And yet now through the hand of God, it becomes something intensely beautiful that has a very worthy purpose. Only the Lord can do this. And he does this to each one of his children who abide in him. So don't ever feel that your past is so marred that it's not worth anything because the hand of God can mold and change it. And this applies to all things, even your business. Get God involved in your business. Make the Holy Spirit your partner. He will upgrade it and he will put his signature on it. There will be a spirit of excellence and prosperity through it. And that business becomes a huge blessing to your community. This applies to marriages as well. We come across many believers who are struggling in their marriages. But do you know that God can take the very marriage that seems impossible, that you're struggling with, and he can turn it into a whole new experience, a surprising experience? But 
you would have to have the patience to go through this molding process because not only is the vessel changed, the clay has to receive that water of the word and lay an absolute surrender, allowing the hand of God to press it and mold it and reshape it. So it's a process of surrender as well. Let's, let's consider if water was not used. What would happen if you're dealing with a vessel that's dry and the potter tried to push and mold it into a new form? It would simply shatter and break. Trying to change it without water could actually be damaging instead. It's only when we are moistened by the word of the Lord, then he can change us. He can remove crookedness and create perfection. It really is a supernatural moistening that can evoke dramatic change while bringing healing, restoration. The water of the word, it's absolutely necessary for this change to occur. Without water, it cannot happen. That supernatural change occurs when water is applied to clay and his fingers are allowed to move deeply within us, reshaping us with great ease. Revelation 22 says, Then the angel showed me the river of the water of life, bright as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb. The water of life flows from the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the natural, the potter's wheel itself may often be filled with a basin of water that the potter will regularly throw upon the clay because the water is essential to shaping the vessel. And when we are in his hands being designed, redesigned into a pleasing shape, we are moist with his word. That's why it's so powerful to really relish and enjoy the word of God. Relax into it, deeply contemplate it, and let it seep in you as though you're experiencing the Lord itself. Because Jesus is the word. And it's when you get lost in the pleasure of the scripture and you are savoring his word, then it ministers to you. It heals you. It becomes a medicine to you. You are like clay allowing water to be pressed into you. It's as though the Lord is splashing you with water, like the potter with his clay, washing you so that over time you find yourself changing in ways that no one expected. He does this. He will deal with issues you didn't even know that you had. People will tell you that you've changed so much and you keep changing for good. You're going literally, as his word says, from glory to glory. But it's all because you were exposed daily to the word of God. The water that transformed you into an entirely new creation. It is the ultimate supernatural upgrade. Nothing is more powerful than this process. Nothing can compare to this divine transformation that only occurs when you are set on the heavenly potter's wheel. He is the potter and we are the clay. But for those who are not taking in the word of God daily, you will find that they will not go through such a transformation. They may in fact be struggling because they did not surrender to the potter's wheel and to the molding process. You see, there's a great intimacy in this experience. Water simply just doesn't flow on top of the clay. It is pushed into and mixed with the clay. And similarly, when you're engaging with the word of God, it's a deep experience. In quiet contemplation, we encounter the living word. In the beginning was the word, 
and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, John 1, 1. The Word is the Lord Himself. We can feel Him and engage with Him. His Word nourishes us to the point that we must feed on it daily. It enters us, it's sealed upon our hearts. This is when we become this wet clay, moldable by the Lord. And I share this with you because I just think it's such an amazing example to know that the past is no challenge to the Lord. The past is not even a concern to Him. If you are willing to climb onto the potter's wheel, no matter what your life has looked like, prior is of no consequence when you surrender to the molding process you'll see that god can do the most unexpected glorious things all he needs is some water to redesign each and every one of us and that design that he has in mind for you it is breathtaking it is exquisite when you receive his living water and you soften into this wet clay, nothing will be impossible. Even the greatest mistakes and trauma of the past can be forgotten, purged from your memory if that's what you want. Even the shadow of the past will be gone because your life will take on a whole new shape and form. And the biggest gift you can give yourself is to submerge in these waters daily so that the Lord can reform you into this new and wondrous vessel. So climb onto the potter's wheel. Let your mind and your body be submerged in Him daily and then watch how He changes everything about you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was encouraging to you. Please leave me a comment and let me know how the Lord has transformed and reshaped you in your life because I'm sure you've been through a dramatic change when you took Jesus as Lord. I certainly did. I look forward to reading your comments. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Shalom. I'll see you next time. Love you.